Hey guys, so I am about to go to my parents' house. Today is part two of how to set up your Mr. Volcano Hero 2 Forge. So today I'm going to be applying the first coat of Refractory. Um, the Rigidizer took about four days to dry. So after three days I looked and it was still really wet. So I ended up putting a really big fan on it. You definitely need a fan to speed up the drying process. It was even outside and it wasn't drying. So definitely use a fan. All right, guys, so the first step to this is lightly misting everything uh, with a water bottle. Um, you know, no big deal, not anything super wet. You just want it wet enough so that when you apply the refractory, it doesn't crack. All right, so next you're going to measure out four and a half packs of refractory cement. Um, I just added those to a bowl. Okay, so it gets really dusty uh, pouring the cement in, so I definitely recommend wearing a mask for this um, and gloves. So I'm just going to fast forward through all this because I'm just literally pouring the cement in. Okay, so this last pack is only half the pack. Uh, remember, it's only four and a half packs, so this is just half a pack. All right, so next I've pre-measured 10.37 ounces of water um, that I'm about to add to all the refractory cement. Um, so after you add this, you're going to mix this for five minutes. It takes forever, um, but you just really want to make sure it's mixed. All right, so just mixing for literally five minutes. Again, it gets super dusty, so definitely wear a mask. Um, I mean, I don't really know what it would do if you inhaled it, but like, why, you know, why find out? You guys, I'm so out of shape that like my arm <laughs> literally felt like it was going to fall off. So, but just keep mixing. All right, so this part's kind of important. So I'm just showing that it's like a sour cream consistency. Um, that's the consistency you want. So just make sure it's that. Um, if you need to add more water, then do that. All right, so originally I had a paintbrush set aside for this. Um, but honestly, I found it easier to just use like a paint mixing stick for this. You just kind of got to like glob it on there, honestly. Okay, so basically I'm just going to kind of fast forward through all this. Um, again, you're just kind of like lightly coating this. You're going to do a second coat on this, so you don't need to be like, you know, heavily covering it or anything. Um, but you do want to make sure that you don't have any light spots or anything on the insulation. Like you do want to make sure it's covered, but just kind of lightly. So just make sure you're looking at it from all angles. You know, you want to get all like the little cracks and whatever in the forge. All right, so this part, I'm just kind of kind of going around the edges, making sure all the edges are uh, completely covered. You don't want anything exposed. All right, so just doing the same thing on the other side, uh, making sure all those edges are covered completely.
All right, so just showing you kind of what it looks like um, on both sides. Um, and then I noticed <laughs> that I missed some spots. So I'm just going to kind of go back through and kind of cover that little uh, issue up. All right, now this part is probably one of the most important parts. So um, I'm kind of going in with a paper towel and wiping off the burner holes because that's obviously your heat source. Um, you do not want anything in the way of those holes because that's where the gas is going to go. Um, so you just want to make it the most efficient that you possibly can. So just make sure no cement is in those uh, burner holes. All right, guys, just showing you again what it looks like uh, from the sides and like the inside. Um, just it's pretty much basically covered again. I'm going to do two coats, so no big deal. You just want to get it basically almost covered. All right, guys, so I just finished applying the first layer of refractory. So I'm going to check back in in about 24 hours and we'll see how dry it is.